हेलो एवरी वन वर्म गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वुड लाइक टू वेलकम सो हाउ आर यू एवरी वन आई होप यू ऑल आर गुड सो विद द कंटिन्यूएसन ऑफ इंडियन पॉलिटी वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस टूडे विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू आर्टिकल पार्ट ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन शेड्यूल ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड इट्स very very important topics from this topic uh, question frequently uh, come in our examination uh, if you check out or notice the last paper uh, be it your pgt and uh, ssb uh, there has been a lot of question with respect to article uh, part uh, uh, schedule of the indian constitution and uh, today uh, we are here to discuss all the things uh, uh, which is very very important uh, for our examination bt schedule uh, for example uh, schedule like uh, uh, 10th uh, schedule or the 5th schedule 6th schedule uh, coming to the part like part is 18 part 20 part 15 part so and coming to the article like article 200 uh, then article 169 uh, then article uh, your 226 so what are these provision deals with specific subject matter uh, uh, which is very very important for our examination and believe me this session is going to be a, a kind of uh, the marathon like session in which we are going to extensively cover all the uh, things that article part schedule of indian constitution with keeping in mind that in our ssb or pgt examination whatever they will ask with respect to that in this topic we are going to able are ready to uh, provide the answer so guys uh, what we need to do okay what we need to do first let's see if you talk about the article part and the constitution indian constitution let's see the what the type of question are already there in our examination so let's see together uh, we'll see so here there is a question like a match of the following question and uh, you need to provide the answer uh, <coughs> together we will try to solve the question and your time start now this side is item this side is administrations administration i mean to say that schedule okay not administration it is schedule so guys hope you able to provide answer the like you can match the administration of uh, and control of schedule area schedule uh, tribes okay the fifth schedule so you 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 have to check out the option okay so you can eliminate 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 okay so this is how the way you answer in examination then list of official language is basically eighth schedule okay list of official language eighth schedule Mm, then provision of the list union state and concurrent list uh, it is the seventh schedule and uh, oath needs to be made by the union and state ministry that is how the third schedule okay so this is how they basically ask the question with respect to the schedule okay so this is your question of ugc net so this kind of question are regularly coming in also ugc net so uh, can be asked in our examination okay so this is how uh, what you need to do like you simply make a like table okay one side you need to really write down the different schedule and another side you have to write down uh, the different subject matter with respect to different schedule okay okay so this is the way you have to prepare very smartly and option a is the basically answer here uh, moving to another questions you can see uh, like uh, uh, question number 2 which of the following function has been laid down in uh, 12th schedule uh, of the constitution of india for municipality okay so for municipality 12th schedule what are the subject matter uh, urban poverty alleviation planning for economic and social development uh, roads and bridges uh, public safety and service okay so there is option code and you need to find the option from uh, like below of the code okay and here we go with the time and guys here the time is off so you can provide the answer like uh, this three things comes under the 12th schedule but public safety service is not 
part of the twelfth schedule. So accordingly, answer would be the like B. Okay, option A, B, and the C is the answer. Okay. So this is how twelfth schedule they asked the question regarding the municipality. Similarly, you can remember eleventh schedule, uh, like regarding the panchayatra systems. Okay. Okay. So like this is the basically very very important uh, uh, the schedule of Indian constitution. Okay. So coming to the next question. So next question is in front of you like that. Which of the following statement are true regarding the composition of Rajya Sabha? So here we go with the uh, this timeline. Uh, you need to provide the answer. Option A: Not more than two thirty eight member represent the state and union territory in Rajya Sabha. Option B: Representative of the Puducherry in Rajya Sabha are elected. Option C: Third schedule of the constitution deals with the allocation of the seats in Rajya Sabha to the states. Option D: Fourth schedule of the Indian constitution deals with the allocation of the seats Rajya Sabha to the state. So this kind of statement based question can be also be expected. Okay, and we have already discussed about the. uh basically seats okay the number of the seats or the composition of rajya sabha lok sabha so if you have not watched you should uh, like go and watch it is available in our uh, like way to video so i will uh, simply suggest you that go and watch the uh, parliament okay so video there i have also discussed about uh, the journey of the lok sabha how the first midterm election is take place and different things so coming to the question so first thing first uh, basically option a is correct that not more than 238 member states uh, in united territory rajya sabha so 238 that's how the composition but in right now there are 230 uh, basically i think 230 okay coming to the like our discussion like 230 uh, basically there are total right now seats in rajya sabha from the state in united territory so currently there are total 233 Uh, seats to the Rajya Sabha from Union Territory and the your I would say the state. Okay, so this is what we basically uh, uh, remember. Okay, so we have already discussed that thing and it's very very important. Okay, uh, then uh, like out of that uh, we all know that two th two twenty nine from the state and uh, four from the Union Territory are related. And coming to the first option is correct. First option is basically correct. Option A. Then second is like basically representative of the Puducherry in Rajya Sabha is all are elected. Yes, it is also correct. Then third schedule of Indian Constitution deals with the allocation of the seats of Rajya Sabha. No, it is wrong. No, it is wrong. And you can eliminate this option C and you will get the answer. So option D is answer. A B D. Okay, A B D. That is how the uh, basically option like fourth schedule is to deal with the. uh the seats to the rajya sabha okay so in this way you need to prepare like preparing a seats that what are the four schedule uh, third third schedule fifth schedule sixth schedule seventh schedule eighth schedule ninth schedule 10 so like 10 schedule is basically related to your anti defection law eighth is the official language so in that manner we can make a like a simple a chart and multiple time require revisions okay so then you can you could able to remember that thing then coming to the next question with respect to an article that which article of the constitution provide a creation or of a state legislative councils okay of a state legislative council which articles so option a 166 167 168 169 so this was the question of 2023 uh, ssb okay ssb so this type of question was asked so what is the answer and your time start now uh, hope you able to provide the answer so guys answer of this question is basically option what d okay option d is the answer of this question that the state legislative council okay so the constitution provide the creation of state legislative council in article 169 okay 169 the state legislative council so this 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 is how the sample of question with respect to article so there is a question that whether all the article need to remember i will tell you uh, that thing but coming to the question that state legislative council currently in six states of indian of indian unions six states having the legislative councils so this is your like homework that you have to sort or uh, google it what are the six states having the legislative councils state legislative council coming to the questions the answer of this question option d article 169 deals with the uh, your creation or state legislative councils moving to next question next question is like uh, which article of the constitution empower governor okay empower the 
गवर्नर टू रेफर ए बिल फर कन्सीडरेसन अफ द प्रेसीडेट टू रेफर ए बिल दैट मीन्स द रेस्पन्स टू ए बिल सो आर्टिकल वन सिक्सटी सिक्स टू हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड वन एंड टू हंड्रेड टू सो दिस वाज अल्सो आस्क इन योर एस एस बी टू थाउजेंड बेसिकली ट्वेंटी थ्री ओके एंड दिस क्वेश्चन वाज लाइक अ वेरी लाइक बिकेम ए कन्फ्यूजन क्वेश्चन लॉट ऑफ पीपुल आर गट इनकरेक्ट इंक्लूडिंग मी ऑल्सो एंड लेट मी प्रोवाइड द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज बेसिकली ऑप्शन लाइक बी ओके ऑप्शन बी इज आंसर आर्टिकल टू हंड्रेड वन ए टॉक अबाउट द गवर्नर टू द बिल ऑफ लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली दैट इज आर्टिकल टू हंड्रेड ओके आर्टिकल टू हंड्रेड बट कमिंग टू द आर्टिकल टू हंड्रेड वन आई विल लेट यू नो व्हाट इज द मैटर ऑफ आर्टिकल टू हंड्रेड वन ओके कमिंग टू द क्वेश्चन द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज बेसिकल ऑप्शन योर द बी इज द आंसर ओके वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट so this type of question basically asked and what we need to know that you have to like make also another sheet or table that this side you need to write down the important article of indian constitution and another side you need to uh, like uh, write down the different provision of the article of the indian constitution so, okay like be it your the governor's 200 article pardoning power of the governor similarly you can write down the president's power like uh, uh, pardoning power of the president's uh, Uh, then uh, like uh, the uh, judicial power of the president so this is how you, you have to make a smartly a table or sheets if you really really want to crack this kind of question because this this type of question will be make you su- sure that the maximum score okay because regularly this question is basically asked and o- always this type of question will be asked okay then moving to the question basically we all know option b is answer coming to the another question under which article of the indian constitution the office of comptroller and auditor general uh, has established option a 148 option 158 168 178 so you can remember the how they basically asked the question it was asked in 2016 ssb i think okay so ssb 2016 so comptroller auditor general of india and last time they asked the question which of the following is a constitutional body or not so this is how regularly they ask the question and uh, Uh, we have to remember also what are the provision related to article 148 uh, comptroller general of india article 148 option a okay we all know then what is your expected question they can ask the question the like who is appointed the comptroller general of india what is the tenure of the comptroller general of india that is known as cag so cag tenure is basically uh, uh, the the 65 okay so the the basically age 65 or what or the Like five years, okay. Which of her is earlier, okay. So which of her is earlier, okay. So what I basically discuss with you that like there is important notice for all of you that uh, like I have already covered a video on the parliament. There I have discussed the journey of Lok Sabha, and uh, in that uh, video I have discussed uh, how the Lok Sabha is involved. Uh, what are the different uh, significant uh, uh, activity related to Lok Sabha? For example. Uh, right now the 18 lok sabha is going on okay that is how you can see in the watch in the screen that 18 18th lok sabha is election is going on and they asked usual question from the lok sabha for example its a period or tenure uh, for the first time when lok sabha is dissolved before its completion of tenure uh, then when the first midterm election was basically take place what is the uh, shortest tenure of the lok sabha so guys you can analyze that how type of question are asked ask from the lok sabha and uh, for that you must watch the video the journey of the lok sabha okay so this is how do you have to remember okay and uh, and guys on this note i i would like to come to the end of our lecture for the today session only okay so uh, like i have already discussed the question and different thing with you and i have also told you that how and what a way you can prepare for your uh, like examination with preparing the different note and soft and tips things okay if you possible you can make from your side i will definitely bring another theory session for the uh, article part and schedule uh, like you can see this is how wonderful table uh, for like uh, uh, all of you that i am going to discuss tomorrow not today uh, because uh, i have a planned that i will make video for each and every section within the 15 minute okay so within 15 minute whatever way things possible or the within this stipulated times so we will discuss the limited things and rest of thing will be continue the next day so in this in that way you can guys able to learn the thing if i will make long video most of people are skip that video and there is no 
लाइक मैटर ऑफ़ द कंसर्न ओके सो द नथिंग बेसिकली मीनिंगफुल देयर सो आई वुड लाइक टू कंक्लूड हियर एंड टुमारो आई विल ट्राई टू डेफिनेटली डिस्कस विथ आर्टिकल द कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड द शेड्यूल पार्ट विथ यू होप यू ऑल एग्री विथ दिस पॉइंट एंड ऑन दिस नोट आई वुड लाइक टू कंक्लूड एंड इफ यू लाइक माई एफर्ट डू सब्सक्राइब डू शेयर द वीडियो विथ अदर फ्रेंड्स इफ यू वांट टू मेक द थ्योरी सेशन ऑन इट यू हैव टू शेयर विथ अदर दैट दे कैन ऑल्सो विल जॉइन एंड सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल सो थैंक यू गैस थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर बींग पार्ट ऑफ दिस लेसन